So really quick, Keanu Reeves said that he wanted to join the MCU. And, uh... <laughs> he doesn't have a character yet. So it'd be, you know, one of those retarded, like, stories, like the ancient legends, where there's some ridiculously greedy king who wants everything, and he has an entire solar system with all the planets, like, chained to his command, and an infinite number of citizens that are all loyal to him mindlessly. So Keanu Reeves is some guardsman, you know, what's this, that's sexy... That uh, bangs the you know the king's wife because he just has a placeholder wife. So as punishment, because he just acts like it's threatening his position mindlessly, he has him chained with giant gold chains on this grating that's all shiny inside of this like pod that's fired out from the end of a spaceship that has like you know uh, like. <laughs> This, this forward dock point that Rake Railgun shoots him out into a black hole while he's got, like, a miniature, like, gold thing on it with a tiny little sun, like, circling inside of it. Kind of like Doctor Strange's, because they obviously just ripped me off now because everybody cheats with LSD. So, uh, it's like a sun pocket, like a sun that's ready to be born, a star seed. So then it's like he goes into it, and then they, they activate it so it blows him up, you know what I mean, as he's screaming, as it starts to heat up or whatever around his chest as all of his veins turn to gold, you know, as he goes into the middle of the black hole and, you know, blows up, and then supposedly, like, the black hole and it closes. But then he's sucked through because that's all where all matter like that goes is the hourglass of time. So then... Uh, you know, he's plucked from the hourglass of time because he said he wanted to be Ghost Rider. So we're creating the most overly dramatic plot because he's the biggest overly dramatic comic book nerd. Yeah. By Ghost Rider's chain whip. Yeah. You know, because he goes everywhere in time and space, you know, so he pulls him out of it, you know, screaming as he sees his soul rushing past, like, in toward it. As, like, he reforms as he grabs his chain because he's a dead man, technically. So each bit of his soul, like, grabs on and, like, you know, comes back together, spinning, like, toward together out of, like, all of the matter that's sucking past as, like, he's still holding onto his chain by his hand down to his head and face, like, as if it's the opposite of the Ghost Rider, where instead he's, like, coming head first instead of leg first from a chain that's warbling around as he's coming back into existence, you know, like, it's the chain of existence even through death, you know. Yeah. <laughs> there, that's a dramatic enough. So then, you know, he's uh, back, but all he can focus on is his infinite revenge because, uh, you know, he loved that woman and she's long dead, but the guy's all, like, held alive by all these stupid, like, implants of magical energy and stupid shit as, like, some husk of a man still trying to run his stupid empire that's collapsed down to one planet. So instead of, you know, doing his job, which he's supposed to do, which is harvest souls, he goes there for revenge, but ironically he has to harvest all the souls there anyways, because that's the plot, because that's the joke of it. Like, you know, he they knew that he was not going to do his job, that's why that is his job. Then, you know, at the end of it, he's all like, oh no, I'm going to go to hell for not doing my job. And then he's, he, you know, Nicolas Cage is like, that was your job. Good job. And then, like, you know, rides off on his motorcycle. It's great. Yeah. 